In this video, we're going to work with an RC series circuit where the resistor R is in series with the capacitor C and is supplied with an electromotive force E. Now, we're tasked to solve for the charge on the capacitor in terms of T here. Also, to know the charge for some time t is equal to 0 0.006 seconds as well as the current through the RC series circuit for some time t is equal to 0 0.006 second and we will also want to determine the charge for a very long time t on the capacitor now we will be finding the function q of t here on the capacitor given our initial condition I of 0 is equal to 0 0.2 ampere. This means that the current through the RC series circuit is 0 0.2 ampere when time t is equal to 0. This means that the EMF is already connected to the circuit even before time t is equal to 0. That's supplying a current through the RC series circuit. Now, we have a circuit here. We have the resistor R in series with the capacitor C and the value of R is 1000 ohms. We'll write it down here, 1000 ohms. And the value of our capacitance is 5 microfarad here, 5 microfarad. And our EMF is 200 volts. This means that our EMF is ADC and it's not AC. Now, this is our initial condition. I of 0 is equal to 0 0.2 ampere. Also note here that the charge Q on the capacitor is equal to the capacitance times the voltage across the capacitor VC and we're going to use this formula to our linear differential equation that we will be deriving. Now in order to solve for the charge on the capacitor let's derive an equation using Kirchhoff's voltage law or the KVL. According to KVL the sum of all potential differences across all the components in any closed loop is equal to zero. This means that the voltage across the resistor, the voltage across the capacitor, minus the EMF should equal to zero. This negative here is the sign convention since our EMF is the supply. And the voltage across our resistor is R times I this comes from Ohm's law. V is equal to IR. This is the voltage across the resistor. And the voltage across the capacitor is Q over C. This formula here. Q over C. And that's RVC. Minus or equal to E or EMF E. Our EMF is now on the right side of our equation after adding E to both sides of the equation. Now let's substitute the values of R, C, and EMF. Our R is 1000 ohms, that's why we have it here. And our I, take note also that our I is equal to dQ over D2, B, dT because the rate of change, the ra I mean the rate of flow of charge is just the current. That's why we have I is equal to dQ over dT. We have it here. Plus 1 over 5 microfarad since this is our C times Q is equal to our EMF 200. Now, let's multiply both sides of the equation to 1 over 1000. To cancel 1000 out from dq over dt. Now, this is the new equation dq over dt plus 
1 over 5 milli. Our 5 milli here is because 5 micro times 1000 is 5 milli. This 5 micro is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 when multiplied by 1000, this now becomes 5 times negative 5 times 10 to the negative 3 times Q is equal to 200 over 1000 is just equal to 1 over 5. Now, we can notice here that our equation is a linear uh, first order linear differential equation. Now, this can be solved using the integrating factor. We'll find the value of our integrating factor in terms of t. Let's find our mu t. And after finding mu t, let's multiply that to our original equation, this here, and solve for our q of t. Now, our mu of t, our integrating factor, is equal to e to the integral of p of t dt. Our p of t is the coefficient of q here, 1 over 5m. That's why we have it here. Our 1 over 5m is simply 1000 over 5 because our this m here, we can transfer that to our numerator. This becomes 1000 because this times 10 to the negative 3 will bring that to our numerator. This becomes 1 times 10 to the 3 or 1000. Then our this equals this 1000 over 5 that's why we have 200 and the integral of dt is just t that's why our integrating factor is e to the 200 t and we'll multiply that to our original linear differential equation here our mu t is multiplied to our linear differential equation e to the 200 t our mu t our integrating factor times dq over dt plus 200 e to the 200t times q is equal to 1 fifth e to the 200t. Now, this expression here can be changed to this format. d over dt of q e to the 200t is now equal to this right side expression here. Now, let's take the integral to both sides of the equation to solve for our q. Now, the integral of this is this, 1 fifth times 1 over 200 e to the 200 t plus c. Now, we can solve for our q of t when we multiply 1 over e to the 200 t to both sides of the equation. Now, our q of t now is 1 over 1000 plus c over e to the 200 t. But... Notice here that we have arrived with our function q of t, but our initial condition is, is in terms of i. That's why we'll solve for we'll so we will solve for our i using our q of t. Let's take the derivative of q so that we can find our i. The derivative of q of t is just this. The derivative of this constant is 0, that's why we have 0 here, and the derivative of this is negative 200 c e to the negative 200 t. Now, from our initial condition, i of 0 is equal to 0 0.2 ampere. Our current is 0 0.2 ampere when our t is 0, negative 200 from here, c e to the 0. That's why our C is negative 1 over 1000. And substitu substituting back our C to our equation or our function of Q of T, we have Q of T is equal to 1 over 1000 minus 1 over 1000 e to the negative 200 T. And this is correct since we have proved here that it's right. We've already got we already got the function q of t now let's solve for the charge on the capacitor at some time t is equal to 0 0.006 seconds by just substituting this time t here to our function q of t 
and after substituting we found that this is our charge on the capacitor rounded off to five decimal places now since we already have our c the constant that we use in our function q of t let's also substitute that to our i of t this is our i of t and we found that this is our c let's substitute this this here to our i of t here so that we'll have a function of i of t here after substituting we got this 150 to the negative 200 t and since we are tasked to solve for the current at time t is equal to 0 0.006 seconds then we'll just substitute that value to our function i of t to solve for the current through the rc circuit at this certain time t is equal to 0 0.006 seconds and we have found that this is our current rounded up to five decimal places and lastly we're tasked to solve for the charge on the capacitor for a very long time t or the limit of Q of t as t approaches to infinity for a very very long time t. Now, since this is our function Q of t, we got here. This is our function. Let's take that limit of Q t of this as t approaches to infinity. This. Uh, find and finding the limit of this function we just substitute the infinity here and if we substitute infinity here imagine raising e to the e to the a very large negative number this now approaches to zero and the limit of this whole here expression or function is 1 over 1000 because the limit of this as the as approaches to 0 as the approaches to 0 is 0 then y 1 minus 0 is 1 times 1 over 1000 this is now your answer 1 over 1000 we can check this charge here since since the charge is just equal to the capacitance times the voltage across the capacitor and if you notice that the voltage across the capacitor for a very long time t is just equal to the voltage or the emf because for a very long time t the circuit will open and see here and see here is open circuited that's why the voltage across c for a very long time t is your emf if the voltage here is 200 then your charge is just equal to capacitance times the voltage if your capacitance is 5 microfarad and your voltage is 200 then your charge is just what 1000 times 1000 micro or this is equal to 1 over 1000 and that's all.